All right, episode 34. Um, I think we just have to hit the turn button. Yeah, we just hit the turn button and see what happens in the next month, which would be October 1913. Okay, armored cruiser Victoria Louise has condenser trouble. That's uh, the Dresden class that's in the Indian Ocean. Uh, an enemy submarine torpedo and damaged our ship Kiel. She will be in dockyard, wow, for five months. That's a long time. Okay, we are intercepting some French ships in the actually Caribbean. I think that's a Dresden class. Yeah, it's actually an old Dresden class. Let's see what this old lady is capable of doing. It's again quite measly, gentle breeze, light rain. Pretty early though. Let's try and chase the ship. Like cruiser target class. Also an old ship. So we're just slugging away at her, taking revenge for the badly damaged Friedrich Karl in the next, uh, in the last episode. And we score a lot of hits. Did we suffer any damage? No, we didn't even suffer a hit. She's getting slower already as it seems. Try and stay on her on her starboard side since we damaged and destroyed a few turrets there already. Go down to twenty knots. Now just finch her off. Wow, the Vineta was torpedoed by an enemy submarine while retiring and sunk. I don't believe it. That's awful. That's awful. Especially because we now have to consider how we get up the tonnage again in this area. That's just really bad luck. <sighs> okay, so we lost another Dresden class ship. Gain a few victory points in return. The construction of the Königsberg has been delayed by another month. <sighs> we got a few funds, so let's actually Resume construction on the Hertha. That's uh, three months. So we can send her into, into the Caribbean. And uh, that's just awful. Unrest levels at one. How long do the submarines take? Another five months. It's just that was that was amazingly, amazingly a bad die roll if you want. So, yeah, well, we can't help it at the moment, I guess. Do we have any other really old ship that we could deploy to the Caribbean? What about one of the Flensburg class ships? Are there any other ships in the Caribbean? Yeah, there should be. They're destroyers. How much? So that probably refers to minus 39,000 tons that we have there on station. Let's send the Gazelle. Move ship. Caribbean. 
All right. They have another armored cruiser there. I just hope that it's not a very capable armored cruiser. That's just <laughs> that's just bad luck. That's just bad luck. I don't think there's anything else we can do at the moment. Actually, you know what? Let's increase dog size. I want to invest into the future. I know that we can use the money now, but I'm building on the parliament pass and higher budget for us pretty soon. Yeah, we have to. They sink two ships. The Friedrich Karl intercepts a French raider running the blockade. Do we actually have a blockade? I didn't, I didn't know we have a blockade. Oh, I think that's what the star indicates. Anyhow, let's see what the Friedrich Karl scoops up. We have mist. I've never seen mist in the game before, I guess. Unknown ship sighted. That's, in terms of distance, quite far away. Let's go to max speed. It seems to be pretty small and it seems to be a pre-dreadnought. No, it's an armored cruiser of the Gurdor class. 8 inch, so same armament. Not as well armored as we are. Quite a few secondaries. Yeah, that should be that should be we should be able to crack that open. Twenty one knots ah, twenty one knots max speed. So we're getting a bit closer. Let's make one knot make one turns for one knot faster than they are. Wow, we hit the turret, flash fire, ship blows up. They deserved it. I hope that our ship is not hit now by an enemy torpedo while retiring from battle. Okay, leave scenario. A few victory points, one armored cruiser less. We gain a few victory points for blockading the enemy. That is very good indeed. Money is not the best we ever had, but better than, well, better, it could be worse, let's put it like that. A spy from Italy has been discovered, what should we do? Tension are pretty low. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go with the high tension, higher budget option. French submarine sink one, French raider sinks another one. Small engagement in what looks like to be in Southeast Asia. Estimate enemy force, one battleship. Why do they have a battleship? They decline the battle, cruiser battle. <sighs> Let's have a look. Cruiser battles are the worst we can currently fight. We have nothing. Well, in that case, we have only one ship. Why are they giving us one ship? Why? Because they're cruisers. They have... Okay, this looks like small caliber fire. They have much better ships, and that, yeah, that's already a much bigger one. They have mu especially much bigger uh, battle cruisers, so. Let's just try to make a bit of damage. I wouldn't be surprised if we see the enemy battle cruisers very soon, after we drove in there. Screen. Let's make 21 knots. Can we actually use... No, we can't. I wondered if we could use uh, the numpad to increase and decrease turns for knots.
yeah, and there we go. Now we are trying to get away. So they have three sh three ships in this single engagement already. We benefit from the really bad weather in December probably or November. Not quite sure what what month it is now. So we can disengage. Um, still, they are vastly superior in the cruiser segment at the moment. Their battle cruisers are much stronger than our armored cruisers. They are very old. Their battle cruisers are quite modern. They don't just have the quality advantage. They also, as you just saw, have the quantity advantage. Destroyers in one engagement, uh, a light cruiser in that engagement. We simply don't have that. We simply don't have that, spe uh, specifically not in that engagement. Just one measly armored cruiser. Though, again, just as the Friedrich Karl, the Leipzig is a very old ship with a great crew, very experienced, so I don't want to lose her. She's not just cannon fodder to me, but certainly not what I need to destroy the enemy battle cruisers. Let's sail to the north just to end the scenario. I guess we overall we made more damage uh, than we got two medium hits, two light hits, engine room hit twice. Let's see how fast can she go? At 23 knots, so not bad. Light damage to the armor cruiser, light damage to the battle cruiser. So actually, we uh, we fought quite well. So that's the enemy fleet, three ships, and this sucker here, quite dangerous to our old Leipzig class armored cruisers. They are not ahead of us in ship design, which is good. Examination of captured enemy munition indicates that they are not ahead of us in AP projectiles. Good. Studies of enemy ships and tactics indicates that they are not ahead of us in light force and torpedo warfare. Good. We gain 140 victory points for blockading the enemy. Good. So overall, we are hanging in there. The Hertha should be uh, commissioned very soon. Also, great. They no longer have a battleship in the Caribbean. They don't have any ships in uh, Southeast Asia. Three months till the next generation for submarines. Yeah, so let's hit the turn button. Hertha is commissioned. We, well, we sunk an enemy destroyer. Lose two merchants, another one. Another one, four merchant ships, enemy coastal raid. When we accept that, the French decline, 55 points, cruiser battle again. We accept that, they decline. Great, so probably yeah, down here we will find the Hertha. Naval gun research improved, 4 inch guns, quality one, very good news indeed. Well, we lose the Flensburg to an enemy torpedo attack. I don't know why they are so efficient at doing uh, torpedo attacks. We have the biggest submarine fleet. We have set the submarine policy to um, to fleet support and everything we got was one month break from the Suffren class as opposed to two destroyed ships, one light cruiser, one armored cruiser and a whole bunch of losses additionally in merchant ship uh, tonnage. That's not what I would expect from the French submarine fleet. Another cruiser battle. This time they seem to accept. We don't have much again in terms of ships engaged. If they would if the enemy would just or the AI would just generate a proper battleship fight, that would be it. That would be what we need at the moment.
chasing the enemy light cruiser. Opening up, spotting two other ships <sighs> and the battle cruiser. So I honestly I as long as the AI does not generate the battles we need, we can And there's they're both battle cruiser. I mean the AI should somewhat generate fair fights, but that's just ridiculous. That's just purely ridiculous. I'm afraid they will be quite a bit faster than we are. Already quite late, I guess uh, darkness will save us again. Titus is laying smoke. I just praise the day the Magdeburg class is being commissioned. And we have a chance in these cruiser battles. Currently, the AI is just generating fights that caters to the French demands. How's the Tetis hanging in? It's doing all right. Minor structural damage, two medium hits. We are losing our pursuers. Do a slight cost change during dusk. Now we do the big one. Go down to cruise speed and increase game speed to ultra fast. Okay, we just have lightly damaged light cruiser marginal victory for the French. 40 victory points for them. The light cruiser target has been scrapped. Thwarting a few French raiders. And we're now making a plus here after the uh, Hertha has been commissioned. Let's see when she will finish her working up. We are commissioning, finally, the new batch of submarines. And they are sinking a massive amount of German merchant shipping. Another coastal raid. This time we are somewhat equipped, but we have only two destroyers. We should really definitely need to build some more, but still that's just not enough. We have two separate fleets. 
should probably organize them properly. Let's set this one to AI control. Leipzig and Friedrich Karl sailing together with a bunch of destroyers. All our pre-dreadnoughts and dreadnoughts sailing with more than insufficient destroyer screening. So I assume since uh, the AI generated a, quite a big fleet for us that the Suffren is now playing too. She finally came out to play. Let's see how that turns out. What time is it? It's already noon, past noon. So we won't have that much time. And we spot an unknown ship. Great, close to our main battle fleet. Let's turn the other ships to the north. Increase speed slightly. We don't want to overexhaust the Stokers too early. And let's go to a north east north course just to bring the Weissenburg and Preussen, the Prussia class into proper positioning. Set the destroyers to a support role and see what happens. Spot a bunch of unidentified ships. We're opening up. That's uh, the range that we want to stay at. Not too sure if they have also two separate fleets. I hope not. Well, we do indeed spot another unknown ship. Great, the Weissburg already suffered an engine room hit. That's just, just not the way it's supposed to be. Now we're making a turn to face the other fleet. We try and stay at max range as always. Yeah, that's uh, there she is, suffering. Let's try and bring up the destroyers from the other side. I don't even know why the keel is. Uh, Set to active fleet though. That's that makes me wonder. Bring her in as a support ship. Have a look at the range, looks okay. Suffering is trying to close in. Lots of destroyers swarming behind. High speed increases flooding. That's uh, the other video, the other episode just uh, finished rendering. Well, that's just. <sighs> Let me think. Let's hang on to this plan to bring in the destroyers closer from the other side. Hessen seems to have quite some struggle. Bad flooding. And she is reducing speed further, probably detaching very soon. The 
sufferings trying to close in. Behind us here are the battle cruisers that try to join. Suffering is again hit. I would like to increase range further, increase distance. Let's make a attempt at that. Another hit. Another hit. Well, that looks quite all right. Still, just light damage. There's a strong screen on the right, so not really an option. Now, for the destroyers to go in. The Suffering is again trying to get closer. Still says light damage. Two turrets destroyed, that's perfect. Just six guns operational, we lost track of the, the enemy battle cruisers. So we score a lot of hits. I hope that's it. She's down to what looks like 15 knots. It's getting extremely close though. I don't want that. might be the attempt at disengaging. Let's bring back the battleships. What time is it? Quite late already, but we do still have some time left. There we go. The turn separated the suffering class from its destroyer screen. That might be the chance to go in for the kill. At the very least, we will drive the Suffering back into the range of the battleships. She's now fighting in, against the Leipzig. She just has to hang in there. Just hang in there. The destroyer screens try to catch up with the Suffering. are away. I don't know why they are still going at the... Oh, they, they should have gone to line ahead, not line abreast. But that might be it. Ah, oh, miss. S21 sinking heroically, if I may add so.
destroyer still trying to get off a shot and that might look like a good opportunity there we go multiple torpedoes out no hits I don't know what's there we go that's finally a torpedo hit finally that should make it easier now to finish her off quite a few torpedoes flying around any sign of the enemy battle cruisers not yet heavy damage Alright, that's actually... Sorry, I'm just trying to really concentrate on what's going on. S21 just sunk. Another spread of torpedoes being fired at the Sovereign. driving her closer to our battleships. Crossing her T. Reducing speed. scoring multiple hits and she's getting slower and slower and slower. Oh, it looks like a destroyer trying his, his luck. Yeah, and I think that's it. I think we sunk it. fire on the Suffering. Amazing. We did it. We did it. No turrets operational anymore.
Yeah, I think we can disengage. I think uh, we can retire from battle. Scoring a few more hits on some destroyer. Not sure which one though. Alright, let's, uh, let's organize that, send back the battleships away from the enemy destroyers and try to catch a few of them, maybe a light cruiser or so, off guard. While they're retreating. That might be worth a few more additional victory points. Hessen is now doing okay again. It's getting dark. So under these circumstances, I think we can abort the chase, except that we will sink the single destroyer here. Looks like the battle cruisers actually returned. We already lost track of them. And we put another torpedo into the suffering. Another one, yeah. Uh, I guess that chapter is closed. Yeah, I didn't really react them fast enough to catch uh, the, dis the battle cruisers again, but I think that I wouldn't have turned around our battleships anyway. I think that since it's, it was already about getting dark, I didn't want to risk them under these circumstances. Well, all our pre-dreadnoughts just sail through one of our own minefields. I hope they don't trigger on friendlies. So we sunk, yeah, two destroyers, another battleship, the battleship, the last French battleship, the Suffering class. And I guess under these circumstances, there's no way they're not going to surrender. Alright, I think that was it. Or was it? It was not? Do they still have a chance to sink? Was it a coastal raid? Yeah, I think it was a coastal raid. So do they might still have a chance to sink our ships for victory points? So we lost a destroyer. They actually lost a battleship. And two more destroyers. That's uh, that's a tremendous victory, 105,000 points as opposed to 4,451. That's amazing. That's really good. Leaf scenario definitely second the victory points. Yes. Let's designate this uh, sufferance. 
final stand. France is grabbing a few ships. We are now at 45 prestige. Let's just hit the turn button one last time in this episode and see what the result will be. Another cruiser battle. Will they accept? No, they won't. Coastal raid, will they accept? They will. So that's actually where we will <laughs> uh, start again next episode. A cruiser raid with two light cruisers, two of our very old light cruisers. We don't care that much. We are more than happy now that we sunk the suffering, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.